Okay, we are now come to the segment where you decide what we are going to talk about via this question and answer segment. What is the potential career path after successfully completed this program? Okay, I, I gave you several examples that includes all of the large financial institutions in Singapore and also a large number of fintech companies and the, also the many financial firms, IT firms that have innovation lab. And for the job roles, software developers, AI developer, data scientist, quantitative analyst in those traditional financial engineering jobs. Most of the students, I think they are fresh graduates or short work history. Uh, then this will be the potential career path. Is there any age limit for enrolling for this program? Okay, as far as I know, there is no official rule. Again, our uh, admission evaluation will based on all aspects. We won't set an age limit. So if there's a strong candidate, relatively old, I think we will still give admission offer. I mean, in our master's program, I mean, like for example, for master's of computing, uh, occasionally we take in uh, fairly uh, mature students as well. Usually we look at the factors, like why the person uh, wanted to pursue master's at that stage. I'm a working professional with a full-time job in the financial risk management industry. So I understand that this is a full-time program. Will I be able to accommodate the program schedule? That means so I guess probably too demanding if you have a full-time job because every semester you need to take four classes. We're planning to consider the uh, part-time option uh, from the second year, but for the first year, we are just focusing on the full-time option. And then for those who are currently working in Singapore, they could opt for the graduate cert in computing foundation that we have. Uh, some of the modules there will can be used to meet the requirement of the program subsequently. So, so this could be a part-time path that they could take prior to getting admitted into this uh, FinTech Masters. At least for the first year. What should non-computing students do for providing evidence of programming knowledge? The more solid evidence is uh, they have work experience in uh, related uh, job roles. The second thing, they have done projects. They show some kind of, they have an undergraduate thesis and the undergraduate thesis is related to programming or they take programming classes. They do some kind of projects. And of course, they, if they take some kind of online classes or certificates in programming, that will be considered too. Also, on the on the other hand, we also have the IT5001 and uh, 3. So those programs are run at an accelerated pace, but it will, it will help introduce um, the student to the, you know, the foundations and basics of uh, computing and programming. The MSc is uh, digital fintech allows students to go for research in fintech or is it job oriented? We are if we are inclined for research in fintech, will this program assist one? I can actually chime in here and say that if you are really interested in research, this program is useful because it allows you to learn more about the topic, right, about the subject matter, and this will also help you in terms of doing research going forward because then you will understand what kind of research you want to do. Again, I think the the, the main focus will be on uh, career progression. One would be the industry, and then the second, if you are really interested in academia, you can then make a transition to the PhD program. Also, the cap capstone uh, allow two options, right? One right. is uh, industry yes. oriented, okay. the other one is internal project. No, under AIDF for SOC or even BIS. And I think if you are taking the uh, internal project, uh, quite often there is some research elements to it that could lead you to a better background in that particular area. With Singapore government pushing for more hiring and increasing the minimum monthly salary for fintech industry, how would it affect the prospects for international students? It is a tough market for international students. Now, uh, I speak from uh, the understanding of an MSc in finance uh, program. It is more difficult now. Nothing is easy, right? You need to show how valuable you are for the um, potential employers. IMDA have an annual survey about the uh, job market situation for the IT sector. Of course, fintech is just one part of this IT sector. Uh, currently, I think there are about 180,000 IT professionals in Singapore, you know, or, or related sort of discipline. And I think uh, they are still projecting a growth of about close to uh, 16,000 new hires in the area for the next few years. If my career goal is a quantitative analysis, this program fits full for me. Now, a lot of the quantitative trading, the skill set requires programming and the machine learning. So with three programs, uh, for this kind of particular job role, we add different values. 
So our fintech program has more machine learning, AI, data science, but has less、uh, modules about the traditional financial engineering. If you want to do quantitative trading, I think you need both skill sets. So you do need to understand better about the financial markets. So financial engineering programs may be better for that. <clears throat> Someone asked if one has ten years of experience in IT industry. So is this cost right fit for it? So judging only by this criterion, I think it's a good fit. But again, like I mentioned, for each one of the applicant, we will consider all aspects rather than just work experience. So of course,、uh, the program is structured to allow people with、uh, three different backgrounds to come in. Including those with less uh, IT uh, skill set, and for those with、uh, a really good IT skill set,、uh, what will happen is that for some of those modules where the candidate already know those areas, to replace them with other modules that are available in the、uh, curriculum, you know, the electives or other core modules that are available. Yeah, you can still email us at、uh, pgc at nus dot edu dot sg. So that's about us for us. So until we meet again, hopefully at nus, have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye.